The average person who wants to learn game development spends a lot of time going from tutorial to tutorial, from course to course, and never actually learning anything. And on top of that, they lose focus all the time. Today, they want to learn this game engine, Tomorrow they want to learn that game engine. Then after that, they want to learn this programming language, then that programming language. And the struggle goes on without ever ending. Why am I telling you all of this? Well, because I went through the same tutorial hell and I went through the same mistakes and I took the same route as you did. But I managed to overcome all of that with the help of the tips that I'm going to share with you in this video. But before I do that, it is really important that you follow and listen to all of these tips because only when you combine them together, this is when you will become this unstoppable game development learning machine. Hello, my name is Fahir and I help people achieve their dreams of building games. So if you're new to this channel, make sure that you subscribe. Before I share with you tip number one, let me tell you a story of this basketball player that we're going to call Kenny. Now Kenny watches every NBA game up to late at night and he analyzes every single move of every single player from every single team and he even knows all of their tricks that they are going to do. He has them up in his sleeve and he knows what they will do before they even try to do it. He knows all the actions, all the tactics and everything. Now on the other hand, we have another basketball player that we're going to call Carl who also watches a lot of matches, same as Kenny, and he analyzes those matches, maybe not as precise as Kenny, maybe not in that amount, but there is this one thing that Carl does different from Kenny, and that is Carl goes and shows up in the gym every single day practicing his shots, practicing all of the tactics that he learned from those videos, practicing all of those tricks that he sees that the teams are doing, all of the dunks, all of the shots, and so on and so forth. You see where I'm going with this? This is the difference between somebody who only follows tutorials, only goes through tutorials, and only wants more and more tutorials, the other person who actually follows a tutorial, and then he tries to replicate what he did in the tutorial. He tries to change the code. He tries to add something on his own. He tries to, you know, manipulate the code, maybe remove this one line, maybe add another line and sees the outcome. This is the difference. This is the main difference why a lot of people are struggling because they just want to go from tutorial to tutorial to tutorial. And I know this is the same exact thing that I did. It was an endless road for me, you know, until one day I realized this is not the way to go. If I just keep traveling, I'm going to travel forever because there are endless tutorials that you can find online and books and even go to college and, and boot camps and whatnot. But what you actually need to do is start implementing the things that you see in the tutorials. When you pass one tutorial, try to do it. Try to replicate it from your own mind. Try to think of it. How can I change this? What will happen? Or how can I implement a new feature? This brings me to tip number two, which is tightly connected to tip number one, which is you need to practice every single day. And I cannot emphasize this enough, which is, th this is where a lot of people make mistakes. Same as Carl did, you need to show up in the gym every day. You need to show up at your computer every single day. You need to spend at least two or three hours. I say this on average, like two or three hours, but if you can spend six, seven, eight. If you, for example, practice one hour every day, so that's seven hours in a week. But let's imagine this, you don't practice for six days, but then you sit one day and you spend seven hours practicing. That's the same amount, right? Seven hours here, seven hours here, but that's not the same thing. You will learn much more if you practice one hour every single day. You will build up consistency. You will build that habit. You know, you will start to breathe the code that becomes a part of you. And it's it will be easier for you to absorb all that information. It will be easier for you for all that information that you learn to click you know, instead of, you know, skipping one day or learning for two days, then pausing for, you know, another two days. If you are serious, you need to show up every single day. Now for tip number three, which is more of a hack than a tip. And this hack helped me create games with my team in the span of seven days. And it even helped me learn Unreal Engine in like two weeks, less than two weeks. And this is something that is plain obvious, but a lot of people, myself included, need to be reminded of this all the time, and that is don't lose focus. Because if you take a look at any game development group, you will see that a lot of people, oh, I started this project, I started that project, I have a gazillion projects from, you know, last 10 years that I started that I never finished. This dude started with this engine and he never finished, then he moved to another engine. Shanice. Yeah? Your mouth is uh, moving a lot like a rat. Yappa, 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 yappa. Shut it, please. Thank you, Shanice. 
you need to train yourself to not lose focus. Because if you start losing focus, then you're going to shift on every single side and you're going to do little on every field, which will not equivalent to anything. This is not like do little here, do little here, 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 and that equivalence is to something big. No, it, it doesn't work like that. You, know, you cannot work a little bit on this project, a little bit on that project, a little bit on that project, and after a year you have three projects. No, you need to work only on one project. So when you start learning, Focus on what you're doing. If you're learning from one tutorial, finish it until the end. Do not, do not skip it. Do not go to another tutorial. Only if it's bad and you don't feel like, you know, you understand things and the person over there is not, you know, teaching you. That's a different story. But stick to it if you like it. Same thing with a course, with a book. Later on, when you learn and you want to create a game, you're you know, creating a game, stick to that game, finish it, do not skip it, do not pause it, do not move to another project. Because if you start doing that, you will build that inconsistency habit, which is something that you don't want if you are a game developer, because then you will enter in a room, you will open a door that you will never be able to close and you definitely don't want to open that door. So, you know, train yourself. The last tip, and if not the most important one, is figure out where you want to learn. Because I see a lot of people jumping from text tutorials, from books, from blogs, over to videos and vice versa, and they want to, you know, try this, try that, and they don't get anywhere. I know we are in the age of this, you know, information overload where videos are dominating everything, but there's nothing wrong from learning from a book, you know, from an ebook or a blog post because, you know, you like to read. I also am a person who reads, you know, so that's nothing wrong with that. So if you are a person that learns f by reading, then, you know, find some ebook or a blog post, you know, because they are so common nowadays. Even I, even I have one game development blog, you know, which I found it's really amazing. But anyways, if you want, you know, if you are that type of person, just find what suits you. Find an ebook, find a blog and learn from there. Same as you know the person who is watching this and he learns from videos of course with videos you have two options which is youtube and paid courses and where should you start if you ask me well my number one place to start is youtube because you know it's free you start especially if you're a complete beginner you can you know see if that is for you, you know, try it out, see if it's for you, if you like it, if you don't like it, and so on and so forth. But if you are serious, then jump to paid courses, because the difference between them is that paid courses are more organized, you know, from A to B to C, all the way to Z, they're organized better. And plus, you have the instructor there who can, you know, help you when you have, you know, questions, he will answer them. And if you're asking me for recommendations, you have, you know, a lot of course sites, Pluralsight, Linda, Udemy, Skillshare, and so on and so forth. Even, even I have my own game development academy. So there are plenty of resources for all of us to learn. So in short, well, in short, <laughs> these were all the tips that, you know, I use to get to the point where I am, which is something, you know, that I shared with you and I want you also to use because I want to see you succeed and I want you to see you prosper. If I knew all of these things when I started to learn, I could have learned everything in the span of three months even less. So keep that in mind. Anyways, I have some helpful links for you if you want to learn game development. They are down below. So, you know, if you're interested, check them out. Other than that, uh, I don't have anything else clever to say except to uh, you know, stay out of jail because, you know, I, I want you to watch my videos and, you know, and that stuff. <laughs> See you in the next one.